What's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today we have some adventure quest news and news we will have a 400,000 AC armor set that's uh, a set of items and an armor okay 400,000 AC is pretty insane a new area added to the game we have a new Mulgaween event for this year and the star swords are finally in game Let's get right into the news. Coming in first off the bat, becoming a polder and a legend. Eat the polder begins tomorrow, September 30th. Alright, so um if you don't know what a polder is, it is a badge you get. A badge, a badge. You get which also grants you two rare star swords along with the rare badge this is the eighth year of the upholder which means this is the eighth year of venture quest worlds has been a game <sighs> such a long time um these are the two star swords we have the solar and uh the curse uh which the star swords are always themed after the navels that come out on talk like a pirate day so you can still buy the navels today, and you can get the two navels to match the two star stores if you want to. Or you can just buy a membership and make sure your membership does not expire before November 1st. Your your uh, membership has to go till November 1st in order to get this. So mine was going to expire on October 29th. So I wasn't able to get the upholder because it was going to expire on the 29th of October. So I had to get another membership so I could get the Upholder badge this month. So hopefully you guys appreciate that. I'll be bringing you the in-game uh, swords once they're in-game. Show you the badge shop and stuff like that in a different video once it's in-game. I do actually have in-game footage of one of the swords. Although I did find both, both the swords are in-game right now for certain people that got the badge already. If some people have already got the badge, I did not get it because I was a little late on buying my new membership because I did not think it was going to be out till the first and I wish they would have told me that because I would have bought it sooner but ah eh, whatever so you get the exclusive 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 excuse my language because I'm bad at speaking all right you get the class set no class you get the set no class it's a good class decent class not too bad not too good maybe I'll do a class guide on it this year I haven't used it in a long time actually get the rare cursed star sword the rare solar star sword and classic versions of both star swords along with the character page badge uh bragging rights and access to the star sword origin zone which is actually a really cool zone now uh, we can get some really cool items in that zone including some more star swords unless they're rare i don't think they're rare yet um so you can access your account to see when your membership expires if you want to so you just go to manage account uh, you log into your account and then look right here it'll say uh, when your membership expires if you have a membership mine expires expires on Sunday January 29th 2017 so mine doesn't expire till next year so along with that uh, it's just a bunch of other stuff on here uh, you can't ACs don't count it's just membership stuff like that and also here is an in-game there's a random uh, person I found in uh, on the member server and he has the star sword this is a cursed star sword i actually know where there's someone with the solar if he's still there i will go see if i can find the guy with the solar star sword in game so there's the animation on it and there is the blade i'll be right back all right i found him he has the solar star sword so here is the cursed star sword for this year and of course the guy's wearing the cursed navel and here is the solar star sword he's not he's wearing not that's not the solar navel but the star sword does go good with his set so those are the two star swords in game you can see the animations and stuff it's not technically in game i mean i am in game and there's the guy right there so technically it's in game and yeah so let's move on to the next story 2016 achievement tracker updates all right so let me quickly go through what the achievement trackers are for anyone that's new uh the achievement trackers basically attracts your achievements as it says uh you go to your book of lore Go to badges and achievement badges uh, if you haven't seen it these are a few of the achievements I have already uh, you just scroll this way so you get some for buying ACs uh, having an active membership I have two years of upgrade already 
Um, there's a few different things like play, play years, five, four years played on this account. Uh, finishing uh, uh, like sagas. Uh, I think that's play time, like one week, one month, three months. I think that's play time. It's just a bunch of different things that you can get badges for, and these badges unlock shops. So if you click on it, or some of them have shops at least. Uh, if you click on some of them, they'll have a shop. It's a few different things, like your character has the maximum amount of bag space slots. Apparently, my character has the maximum amount of bags. What? What? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. My character does not have the maximum amount of bag space, but apparently the tracker thinks it does. So you get like badges following up and stuff, and some of them have shops. So what I'm talking about now is new shops. So we're having a 400,000 ACs shop. So this is if you've purchased 400,000 ACs in the life of your account. So I know a few people from the stream uh, will be getting this. Some people that spend way too much money on Adventure Quest Worlds. Uh, they also have one for seven years of membership and eight years played. So this is going to be three new shops. For the 400,000 ACs, you get, I think it's a set. Uh, yeah, yeah, you get the Doomfire Warrior set. For seven years membership, you get the Doomfire Guard. So there's the two different ones. I think the Warrior one looks a bit better because it's not like, I don't, the skin looks different. I don't know what that is, if they're demons or something. Um, eight years played for Adventure Quest Worlds, you get the Nostalgia Quest, which is a Pizza Hut house and armor. Um, Early fan favorite rewards, classic quests with a new flavor, and hang out in the original battle on, which is pretty cool. That's probably my favorite one out of all of these is the Pizza Hut house and the hanging out in the original battle on. I wish I could do that. That'd be that'd be dope. I miss the old battle on. Um, what is Chima Tracker? So they explain it. I've already explained, it, of course. And yeah, that's a note about the Doomfire sets. Also on Twitter, if you finish the, let me find this real quick. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And it was confirmed that a version of the Doomfire set will be available if you finish the, the uh, TOH saga and complete the quest. Uh, so there'll be a quest unlocked after you finish the saga and that is that. So you can also earn the set even if you don't have years of time played in the game, which is nice. All right, on to some Mulgoween, which is Adventure Quest World. Halloween, actually it's Arctic Entertainment, it's Halloween basically in all their games. And Mugween in Adventure Quest Worlds is getting a little creepy with this bloody, scary looking clown. That's just some art I found uh, that should be rela related and released this Mugween. Very nice looking. Mugween returns this Friday. We have it confirmed that all the seasonal Halloween, aka Mugween events, are returning this Friday. Uh, which is this Friday, which is tomorrow, if you're watching this video on the day it's uploaded. A very cool looking green guy there. Uh, we have a set that's coming out tomorrow, also, I think it's coming out tomorrow, coming this week, yes. Uh, the Masquerade Armor, looking pretty cool. That, I'm sure some of these items will go good with someone's set, they're not my personal favorite. Uh, we have a spooky J6 armor titled Shadow Nightmare J6, which could be related to something in the AQ Halloween update, it could be, you know, just called Shadow Nightmare. So uh, take it, take that as you will. Nothing is confirmed. And that is that for the news this week. I have a quick reminder at the end of the news video that the Royal Raiders set is leaving. So this is for spending ten dollars or more in the in-game purchase store. So you click there. You either buy a three-month membership. Or 2,000 ACs plus. So if you buy anything above it, of course, ten dollars minimum. That will unlock the Royal Raiders. Uh, this is going away. I did a video, a preview on the uh, the whole thing. If you want to see that on my channel, just search up Royal Raiders uh, Bad Shop or something like that. You will find that on my channel. If you want to see a video of all the items included with that purchase. And next month, we have this confirmed. Uh, what this package will look like. This is the package. I've already showed this in another news video, but I thought this tie in good right here. This is the package is coming out for October. So if you spend $10 or more in October, this is the package you'll get. And I'm pretty sure this starts this Friday. Or actually, I'm not 100% sure when it starts, but it's sometime in October. I would check Ask Elaine on Twitter if you want to know the exact date. So, 
that is it for the news today. If I helped you out or taught you anything or if you learned anything or if I, if you enjoy me keeping you up to date, I'll leave a like on the video. Leave a dislike if, uh, if everything you already knew. And uh, I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet. And I'll see you all in the next one.